Hey, what's up, guys? So I was reading the word, right? And in the word I read that he who, he who does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. He who doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. So I was like, hmm, okay. So the unbeliever, right? And then I thought again, no, no, no. It's, it doesn't say the unbeliever. It says, he who doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. This is the Apostle Paul writing to a church, a group of Christians in the church of Corinth, right? Christians, a church. He who doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. That's something said to Christians. So I'm like, wow. So just because we believe in Jesus, it doesn't mean that we love him, right? Yeah, I think that's clear. That's obvious. Jesus said, you know, why do you call me Lord, Lord, right? And I do what I say. Uh, and then Jesus, you know, of course, he said, many will come to me saying, Lord, Lord, didn't we do these things in your name, right? And he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of sinfulness, you worker of evil. So we know that you can believe in God, believe in Jesus, believe that he died, was buried, rose up on the third day, confess his name, and still be accursed because you can still live not loving him, right? The Bible says in the book of James, even the demons believe in God and that God is real. They know God is real. That doesn't make them right with God. So he who doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. I read that and I started thinking about so many scriptures in the New Testament for Christians. And then I thought of this scripture from the mouth of Jesus himself. In the book of John, Jesus said, He who loves me will keep my word. He who loves me will obey my commandments. He who says he loves me will obey the instructions that I give to Christians, to my own disciples. And then it made sense. Wow. Those who love God, obey him. Those who love Jesus, obey him. And if we don't love him, then what? We are cursed. Why? Because if we don't love him, we won't obey him. And faith without works is dead. And to be a curse is basically to be condemned to the punishment of God, the wrath of God. He will send us to the lake of fire that will never stop burning. Never ending, unending punishment, torment, torture, where there's weeping, gnashing of teeth. So he who doesn't love Jesus by obeying Jesus will be condemned to the lake of fire. You will burn in hell. This is a warning to the church, to us, y'all. We got to take the Lord seriously. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, not do what I say? If we say he's Lord, he's king. If we say we're, we're his followers, well, is he leading us to sin? Is he commanding us to sin? No. So why do we think he's okay when we're not following him, when we're not obeying him? We must stay the course and continue following Jesus by doing what he said to do. If he told us to love people, love people. If he told us to forgive people, forgive people. If he told us to stop fornicating stop having sex if you're not married to that person if he told us divorce is not of god and moses only gave a certificate of divorce because people's hearts were hard and they were evil then stop getting divorced go back to your original spouse y'all became one flesh that's a forever covenant if jesus said drunkenness is a sin stop getting drunk if you're a christian we must go back to the basics y'all simple the milk of the word simple christianity the things that jesus taught his original disciples not the stuff that these tv preachers are teaching us jesus said if you love me you will obey what i say and then the apostle paul in first corinthians says he who does not obey the lord jesus let him be accursed in the church that's serious y'all we must go back to taking the words of Jesus seriously. What did Jesus command his disciples? And then those same disciples, his apostles, right? What did they teach in their letters to the churches? What did they teach? Because Jesus, before he was ascended to the right hand of the Father, before he went back to heaven, he told them, make disciples, baptizing them in my name. 
and teach them everything I taught you. So whatever we see the apostles teach in the New Testament, those are the teachings of Jesus because Jesus taught them and told them to teach us whatever they learned from him. So let him who doesn't love Jesus Christ be accursed. And Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So what's the teaching here? It's clear. Jesus wants us to obey him, not just confess him, not just believe in him. Obey him. Why? Because by obeying him, by keeping his word, by loving people, by denying ourselves, by walking according to the spirit and not the flesh, God will be pleased. We will be allowed into his eternal glorious kingdom and we will not be sent to hell because only those who walk according to the flesh are not allowed in the kingdom of God. So if we make sure we obey Jesus, then we can make sure we're walking in the spirit. If we make sure we love God with everything and love our neighbors as ourselves and we'll do to others what we want them to do to us, then we'll cover a multitude of sins. We'll keep God's commandments. But we have to take the teachings and the commandments, the instructions of Jesus seriously so that we can have eternal life. Jesus Christ himself said, he who endures to the end will be saved. Not he who almost endures, not he who just gets born again, not just he who confesses, not just he who goes to church, not just he who believes. It says he who endures to the end, he who keeps the faith to the end, he who doesn't go back to living in sin, go back to walking in the flesh, he who loves me to the end, he who endures to the end. Come on, you got to walk in the spirit, y'all. Let's start obeying Jesus because that's the only way. That shows that we love him by obeying him. And by loving him, we will not be condemned to hell. Y'all see what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Live for Jesus today. Look at these scriptures, okay? Look at them. Pray about them. Meditate on the word of God. And renew your mind according to him. We got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The Bible says faith without works is dead. The Bible says that Jesus will return. His kingdom is coming. He will consume the earth. He will ra uh, raise up everybody from the dead, give us celestial bodies, and then he will judge all people according to our works, our lifestyle, not according to our confession, to how we live. Did we obey him? Did we love him? If not, we'll be accursed. And people will be allowed in his kingdom, and most people will be sent to hell to suffer with the devil and his angels. That's the Bible, y'all. Let's grow in Christ by obeying Jesus, by taking his words seriously. Amen? Because if not, we will be a curse. We will be condemned. We will go to hell if we don't walk in the Spirit. If we don't obey Jesus. If we don't love God with everything and love people how Jesus has commanded us to do so. Amen? Let's grow. Bless you guys. Like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know this helped you. This taught you. This reminded you of truth that maybe you forgot because of the type of preaching that you've been seeking. The type of preaching you've been listening to. The type of teaching that comforts you. Share this video if you want this video to help, to teach, to convict somebody else. And subscribe to the YouTube channel because the truth must be preached louder and louder in more platforms and more uh, computer screens, more uh, phone screens. More people got to hear the truth because a lot of us ain't preaching it, right? Love y'all. Let's grow.